We fought for this thing. We went to the street. People lost their lives. Why did we want this thing? So when you look at chapter one of the Constitution, sovereign power belongs to the people of mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. We the people is a first statement. So it's to give that power and dignity back to the Kenyan people. Naremo Wako, executive director of Siasa Place, is posed with stereotypes of youth and governance. When it comes to governance, the youth are their worst enemies? The youth have the power uh, to decide or determine the leadership in this country. But a lot of times, they tend to get lost within the tribal blocks. And then they begin to believe things that have been told to them by adults. And they leave it. And they also are involved in propagating a lot of the violence. But I do have hope that there are other young people who are coming to the fore who are going to change that. The modern youth claim to be woke, but this ends when it comes to governance. Because they have seen how government has let them down, so they are disappointed. So a lot of times they choose to just not connect, uh, disassociate with it, but they can't run away from it because politics affects them every day in every single way. So they have to be involved in that process. But the youth are very woke. Uh, they can use their platforms to do a lot more than they are doing with it right now. Is there hope for youth in leadership? The majority population is young people, so they have to lead this country. This is the country that they're going to inherit. And frankly speaking, they should be leading right now. And we're the ones who are going to be stuck here for the next 50 years. So if we don't determine how we want to lead this country, then when we're in a mess, we have no right to complain. So I am hopeful that there are youth who are going to wake up and realize that reality and take leadership. The foundation of all free government and social order must be laid in families and discipline of youth.